Hi, I'm Wanda from Alanda Craft, and this is the Xtool M1 laser cutting and engraving machine. Now this machine also comes with a blade cutting function, just like the scan and cut in the Cricut machines. Now we were given this machine to have a play with and to share our thoughts. It's a really lovely looking machine, it's very compact, and it's fully enclosed. So all the debris stays in the machine. Now it's not very heavy, and I was able to move it around on my own. Now it's very simple to put the machine together. You simply plug the cables into the back of the machine and then you connect the USB cable to your computer. Another thing, you'll also need to attach the exhaust vent to the back of the machine and it's easy. You don't need a screwdriver. But it's important as some materials can create nasty fumes when you're using the laser and so you need to have the machine vented. Now all you need to do is turn on the switch on the back of the machine and then all you need to get it working is your computer and the XTOR Creative Space software which is free. So you open up the software and you click on the connect device and you'll see the machine name pop up on the screen so just select that. And now because the machine has a camera in it, it's going to take a photo of the base of the machine. Now when you're using the blade cutting function, you're going to need a mat to put your material on and the machine comes with two mats, a pink one which is the fabric mat and the blue one which is the uh, mat you use for cutting vinyl, um, leather and anything else like that. Now with the basic machine, you get five cutting blades, a dog tag, some baseboards, sticker paper, uh, vi adhesive vinyl, also your triangle prisms and your manual. With the premium pack, you get more items to play with. We decided to try the blade cutting uh, function first, and as it's the first time we're using the machine, we had to put in a new blade, which is easy to do. So you remove the blade holder, which is held in by a magnet. Press the plunger on the top and insert the blade which is also magnetised. And you'll need to adjust the blade so that only the 45 degree angle tip is showing. Now when you're using the cutting blade function you have to use a mat just as you would with a Cricut or a Scan and Cut. However the x tool mats are sticky on both sides so you remove the plastic from the back and the front and then you place the mat into the machine and that sticky side holds the machine securely to the base so it doesn't move around. Now I'm using the heat transfer vinyl supplied by x tool and I'm placed it on top of the mat and then just lined it all up and dropped it down, smoothed it into place. Now once you've got it in place, close the lid and the machine will take a photo of what's in the mat and that will show up on the software. So I'm going to want to cut this vinyl so I come up and I select blade cut and then I go to user defined materials and select heat transfer vinyl. This will mean the machine will automatically cut the vinyl correctly. Now I need to come up here and select my image from my computer and I do have a, an image here from Creative Fabrica and I'll put a link in the description below and you can see here it's this lovely butterfly. Now I want to make it a bit smaller so I make sure that I click on that lock so that when I change the size it'll stay in, in the right proportions. If I don't click the lock it'll go ski whiff and all out of whack. So just make sure you click the lock if you're trying to resize. So now we come to process and there you are, you can see the butterfly and we click on framing and we also click on the button on the machine. Now what's going to happen is that the machine will frame where your design is going to sit and this gives you the chance to make sure that it's in the, within the parameters of the material and not off to the side. Now once it's finished framing you press the start button and then you press the button on the machine and it'll start cutting out the vinyl and it's going to do the kiss cut which you need for vinyl and it does take a little bit longer than the stated time on the machine but uh, you need to be aware of that if you're timing something. Okay so we're just going to weed the vinyl off and see what it's done. Oh and it's done a beautiful job, very happy with that. So now I'm going to cut some stickers and this is a print to cut process so I've got my design on my software there and I'm going to select the print and blade cut and also the white sticker paper. Now I press process and it tells me to print the pattern onto a material. So I put my sticker paper into my um, printer and then I adjust the settings to how I want them. I want best quality and there we are. It's printing out and you'll notice the registration marks there and they're necessary for the machine to recognize where the pattern is. So then I go to next and then just follow the instructions through, press start and on the machine and then away it goes it's going to cut out my stickers. Now this is a design from Creative Fabrica and it's nice little Christmas designs there's a whole heap of them. Alright so there we are we'll just lift the sticker off 
And that's just lovely. It'd be great for your Christmas cards and little presents and things. So did a great job. And you can see it's done the kiss cut, so it's left the backing behind. And I like that so much. I printed out some gnomes and some bumblebees. Now I do a lot of card work so I wanted to test out cardstock and I'm using 65 pound weight card here. Downloaded the file again from Creative Fabrica. Place the cardstock onto the blue mat and in the software there was no option for cardstock so I selected the closest thing which I thought and that was craft paper. I wanted to try something a bit more intricate to see how it cut and as you can see it did beautifully. So then I thought I'd try some craft paper so I thought I'd cut out these envelopes. They're always handy in your journaling. So there you go, you can see it's cut out beautifully and there is a setting for craft paper in the machine and doesn't that look cute? So there are lots of projects in the software so go up to the projects button there and it'll open the screen with all these projects. Now there are a lot of them in here that you can try and make sure you take advantage of that because it will help you to get a handle on your machine. So um, I scrolled through and I selected the leather bag and you just click on the project and it says start project so you click that button and it'll bring the design into your software and you can see across the bottom there are four tabs and so one's for engraving and then one's for cutting and another engraving and then another cutting so it's all there all set out for you so when I was looking at this doing a beautiful job of doing the engraving I'm really really pleased with that and then I picked it up off the mat and the mat has the design there so my leather was obviously too thin for the design however it hasn't affected the mat it still works perfectly well so I decided to try a different design with the leather so we've just got some initials here so there's a P for Paula and a W for Wanda and all I did was um, cut them out using the settings in the machine and making some key tags so the next thing was to try the fabric when we use a lot of applique and a lot of fabric so we wanted to see how well it cut the fabric but um, it wasn't as successful as uh, we had hoped it uh, finally we managed to get it to cut out a design there is no setting in the machine for fabric so this is going to be something we'll have to continue to work on uh, as you can see when I pull it up it's cut part of the design but it hasn't finished it off at the end and I cut a few stars and had the same result that when it came to the end but I had to cut the last bit with scissors so um, that's something we'll continue to work with and we'll let you know in a future video so now let's try some engraving and some cutting with the laser so we no longer need the blade holder in so we take that out and we also don't need mats now because now we're going to be using these triangle prisms and this will hold our material up off the base so I'm using some basswood it's a three millimeter thick and I bought in my design which is a bookmark with um, it's a Christmas bookmark from Creative Fabrica and I just get it all set up there and ready to go so now we we select laser flat and we also uh, select the size of the material. Now for the first one I forgot to select the option that said um, are you using a raised platform or not and I had it on no and it should have been yes and as you can see the material is burning. It burnt at the top and the bottom which was a bit of a shame. Anyway once I realized my mistake we went back and started again and it work beautifully this time so uh, we cut out a couple of these because I think they're really cute and make lovely little gifts at Christmas so isn't that divine love it well it did such a great job on the bookmark we decided to keep going so we cut out this Christmas tree which you can put together and put as a centerpiece in your middle of your Christmas table then Halloween's coming up so why not cut out some pumpkin faces so they're super cute these guys and then we did some tags which come with your pack so we just did some engraving on those and then we did some spoons now wrap them up with a tea towel and a ribbon and what a great little Christmas gift you can never have too many coasters and the, so we did the engraving on the rock coaster looks great then we did the welcome to the garden on a piece of aluminium so that looks really good this does a beautiful job and then we did the dog tag and Max is my granddaughter's dog's name so we did a little tag with his name on it okay so what do we think of this machine well we absolutely love it we've had a lot of fun playing with it we've had a ball and there are only a couple of concerns and one is the fabric it didn't cut the fabric as we expected uh, but we'll work on that I'm sure it's something to do with the settings and also the software is still on beta and there are a few improvements that could be made there but other than that it's amazing we love it